so by what I'm inside a, a, a four dimensional polytope right now. Yes, you're inside the 120 cell space is entirely filled with dodecahedra because in this spherical space, dodecahedra tile space. It's it's non Euclidean. It's um, this spherical space. It's like you were living on the surface of of a dodecahedron, except one dimension up. If you lived on a dodecahedron, then like everything would be pentagons, and you just live in pentagon land, and they'd all tile perfectly. So you're living in dodecahedron land. It curves around. It's a closed space, and if you eat all of the dodecahedron, it means you've been everywhere in this space. So, I, so there's 120. I've got to eat. Mm-hmm. And that represents you having gone in every location in this spherical space, which is the projection of the 120 cell. I feel like I'm never going to get them all, though. It turns out that there's a lot of them. <laughs> so the headset information, how it gives you the information of how it's oriented is as a quaternion. Computer graphics loves quaternions and math loves quaternions. So we took uh, that headset orientation quaternion and mapped it to the third sphere as you do. So basically you move throughout the space by rotating your head and every specific rotation of your head represents a point in space. Why do you think people being inside this and, and having a play with this gives them a different understanding of four dimensional space or are you still just cheating and breaking rules to try and help people but it's still not the real deal or do you think this gives a new insight? I think it definitely does just like looking at 3D models of three-dimensional things helps you understand them better even though you're really only seeing them on your retina as a 2D image. So you're still only seeing this as a 2D image in the end, uh, but you're getting more information because you can actually manipulate it. You can manipulate it hands-on or head-on in this case, like you're actually doing the rotations that let you see different rotations of it. Alright people, check it out. There's a website. Hypernom.com. This will work on any, almost any browser and also on your phone. Cool. Yep. Fourth dimension. And the result is what I believe to be the most beautiful four dimensional regular polytope. The 24 cell made up of 24 octahedra. Wasn't that bad. And yet I don't think the chances of, of six four sided dice is actually that much lower.